Hey guys, welcome back to the Berry Mountain Homestead. I am Michelle. This is Dixie. And you can't really see Tony because he's driving, but you can say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm stuck behind Dixie. Right we have an exciting trip today. We are heading to. I know, I know. We're heading actually to see our house. Um, they finished production on our home. They cannot fully deliver it to the site yet because they're still doing site work on our land, but it is going to be stationed at another location in the meantime. But we're heading there now to check it out. And uh, I don't know how much we'll be able to actually see. We're gonna try to like peek in the windows and see it. But for those of you who've been following us for a long time, like this has been a long time coming. We have been taking you guys along for the whole journey and it's it's getting to the point now where we're getting there like the house is done in production we just have to get the site work done and then we'll have it on our land so it's very exciting we brought dixie along because <laughs> we weren't able to hike her today since we're going on this little adventure so this is her hike for today she loves car rides too yeah it's here we found it <laughs> of it at least. It's not put together obviously. Are you excited? I am and I'm also glad that it's not on the main, it's kind of off the road and hidden. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna look in all the windows. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh it's white. Oh my god they did it right. Oh you can't see from in the camera at all I don't think. No but they did it right and the floors are right aren't they? The floors are right. The island's right. Oh, oh the countertop's right, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm shocked. I really thought that something would be messed up. Pork. I bet if they did everything else right. Yeah, you have to assume, right? Yeah. Someone's gonna come out here and be like, what are you doing? Here's the front. It's just so green. Can yeah, you can see it, I guess, a little. See how the screen is. As you saw, that's how they ship if you get like a double wide, they ship all of the stuff in it so it doesn't have to come separate. And then when they set it down, they take it all out to put like the roof cap on and finish the siding and all the skirtings in there. Everything that they need should be in there. Hey everyone, I just got home from work. Michelle doesn't get home for about another hour or so. So I'm gonna get some chores done. I'm gonna feed the chickens and clean their litter, and grab any eggs that are left in there and give them some fresh water. Oh, I found the chickens. Good afternoon, chickies. How are you doing? Hi. I will also be setting up a meat grinding station before Misha gets home because tonight we are finally gonna do our deer meat and grind it up for burger. Uh, this is our first time doing it, so we'll see how it goes. We're gonna bring you with us and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> Yesterday, we showed you guys our house that got delivered uh, and not set yet. It's sitting in a parking lot about a half hour from our house. It came up from Virginia. But I wanted to show you guys the reason why it's sitting in a parking lot and not on our property yet. So there's our land as I come up here. So the excavators are finally working on our land. Uh, they're getting the spot level for the house, the landing for the house ready. So that's why the house is sitting in a parking lot about a half hour away, waiting to be delivered the rest of the way. Uh, we're a little bit behind schedule on the excavating part of it, but hopefully it all comes together in the end. I'm trying to get set up for our first time grinding venison before Michelle gets home. And this is a big deal for us. This was my first year ever hunting. Since we moved out here, I grew up in the suburbs. Um, Michelle's from around here, but she never went hunting. So we're really trying to get into hunting to help supplement our food costs and kind of live off the land more and, you know, just kind of be one with nature. So this is my first year hunting, as I said, and I got a doe 
and we really really tried to use absolutely everything from it and one of the things we use a lot is ground beef or ground turkey and this year especially hunting was super important for us to to actually get something because we're living in the RV still our house isn't done as I showed you earlier it's we're working on it but we didn't get a chance to do a round of meat chickens yet or have some pigs and grow them up and butcher them so to try to get the hang of it and supplement our food costs I went hunting I got our dough and we decided that we would butcher it ourselves to try to save money it's more economical that way and we didn't want to waste anything so we got a good bit of meat off of it and we're really excited so we're really excited to bring you guys with us also i hope hope everything goes well today hey everyone mishi just got home and the excavators just left so we are going to walk up there with dixie and see what they did on their second day of work oh and dixie got a new carhartt jacket look at it <laughs> It's orange for hunting season, but she will be wearing it all winter. <laughs> Look at that. So this is where our driveway is going to be. It's not exactly the way it's going to be. It's, um, it's going to be a little shallower so they can deliver the actual home and then they're going to redo it and make it into a final driveway. This is gonna be the landing area of the house. There's an, this is the only flat spot on our entire seven acres. <laughs> Dixie's having fun. That's how much dirt they took away to make that flat and build it back up. You can't really see how high it is yet, but I'll see if I can show you. Dixie, come on. Dixie, up. That's a that's about nine feet tall. Dixie, come on. The camera's flat and everything, but it's about probably nine feet tall. And I don't know exactly they're not necessarily done. This may be the view out of our kitchen, so we're gonna have some uh landscaping to do. All right, we are back inside now. We are all set up and ready to grind our venison. I will show you kind of what we're working with, the equipment. It's like uh, around six o'clock um, and we're hoping this doesn't take too long. I don't think it will. I don't really remember how many pounds of venison we have, but um, we're gonna use this. Yeah, I don't think we should when we processed all the other venison, but we used this and I think we showed it in another video a long time ago. Um, but we just got this from Amazon. And then over here, our little, we're doing all this in the RV, by the way. But we got this from Walmart. It's in the hunting section. Uh, it's the Gamekeeper brand. Is that the brand? I guess so. But this is, this is it. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> the meat's outside. Yes. With a supervisor, Felix. This is our first time doing this, so I read all the instructions. <laughs> I'll put some in to start because you're not supposed to run it with nothing in there. scale and it is just a little tiny bit over one pound so it's perfect and then we're gonna seal it and then repeat that's not good no it's not right something's wrong with it okay so our vacuum sealer broke while we were trying to do this on the first one. So Mishi went out to go get a new one from Walmart because we don't want to not vacuum seal this. And I finished grinding the rest of it and uh, I'm gonna try to clean up before she gets back a little bit. That's one pound there, but it is not vacuum sealed. It sealed it, but it's full of air. 
and it's not tight and hard the way it's supposed to be. So that's broken. Over here, this is about four or five pounds here. I got two of these and another half and then that's about it. So probably about 15 to 20 pounds total maybe. We'll see. I made it back from Walmart. Thank goodness there's one close. Our vacuum sealer broke. So this is <laughs> the second vlog that Amazon has failed us because we got it from Amazon. But we got a really good one now that I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, I would hope that it's gonna last us a very long time. I was so disappointed and annoyed that I was like, that's it, I'm just getting the best one they have. And I grabbed it and <laughs> left. <laughs> Whenever I'm just like annoyed like that, I'm like, that's it. Like if the cheap one did me wrong, I'm going all out because I don't want that to happen again. And the other one was a cheap one. It was, yeah, it was. It was like $35 Right. Yes. Bag maker, vacuum view window, one touch vacuum and seal bar, convenient open roll storage, and a marinade mode. Apparently you can marinate stuff really quick. I don't know. I never had one this nice, so. Yeah, she's a beaut. She's big. But I think that's, this is something we're going to be using a lot in our life. Like, I think it's worth the investment of a good one. It's see-through so you can see it. And then you just... Push down on this with both hands. Oh, it grabs it. Oh, popped open. Nice. Look at that. That's a lot better than the last one. I told you that. I, that last time we were using it, I was like, something's wrong with this one. That's beautiful. One pound. There we go. We're going to do the rest of this now. This food saver is way better than the one that we had before. It's amazing. Yes, if you're in the market. I did want to say, um, this was our first time using that meat grinder or any meat grinder. I think, at least I, was intimidated by it. It's so simple. It took like... 10 minutes of grinding to do 15 to 20 pounds of meat. It was fantastic. Don't be intimidated by trying to do things yourself. All right, we're gonna go, it's late. We have to eat, shower, do this. Bye.